Hello and welcome to BDE Travels in our Camino de Santiago. In our previous episode, we left the town of Sarria. We glanced at several murals and it was very cold in the morning. In our way there, we met four ladies that just left their husbands. Then we met Armando from Peru and we reached a 100 kilometer marker. In today's episode, we're going to leave the town of Porto Marino on our way to Palas del Rey. And on this episode, I am joined by my beautiful wife. We contemplate the beautiful fields of Galicia. We go by some interesting archaeological findings. There, the body meets a nun that started her Camino in the Netherlands. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. As we continue here on BDE Travels and our Camino de Santiago. Good morning, folks on BDE Travels. This is day, I can't remember what it is. It'll be somewhere in here which day it is. I know it's uh, close to 30 or the 30th day. Uh, leaving Porto Marin to Palas de Rey. Uh, right now it's 9 a.m. and it's foggy and it's cold, it's around uh, 40, 42 degrees, well, it's actually it's not that cold, but a uh, uh, little bit of a hike uh, beginning, seven and a half kilometers uh, and a little bit uphill. So we'll see what we have. And I'm very happy. Uh, there is uh, someone walking with me finally. Hello. <laughs> so I'm not doing this last part of the Camino by myself and I tell you it's a big difference when you have someone else walking with you. And I'm, happy, I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> but right now she's got like uh, three jackets, uh, oh, like yeah. four socks and everything so. <laughs> I'm very warm. <laughs> so enjoying the Camino de Santiago here on BDE Travel. What you doing? <laughs> Getting the sand out of my shoe. <laughs> Well, folks, as you uh, get out of the uh, top of the hill, uh, when you're working out of, out of uh, Porto Marin, there'll be a time that you're going to parallel the road. Uh, be careful. It's a little bit dangerous, especially when there's a lot of fog carts won't be able to see you. But what you do is you cross to the right side of the road uh, <clears throat> and just make sure there's no car coming. So uh, it's uh, 10 a.m., close, 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 close to 10 a.m. Yeah. And the fog is so thick that we can only see maybe, I don't know, 50 meters. And after that, it's just completely covered with fog. Mm -hmm. So you can't see the cars. The cars will not be able to see you. Yeah. So uh, be very careful. Be very, very careful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, a little bit later during the day and it's still foggy. Very foggy. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, maybe 40 feet ahead of you. And after that, you cannot see anything else. Yeah. So it's, uh, I wanted to see more of Galicia, but it's still foggy. And you wanted to put the drone and you can't. I wanted to fly the drone and yeah. I can't fly the drone right now because I won't be able to see anything. <sighs> but how you like it so far? I, I, I'm enjoying it. I really right? like it. Even though I can't see much, but I'm just enjoying it. It's been a while. <laughs> True. Yeah. We're about 88 kilometers from uh, Santiago. And it should be 24 from Puerto Marin to Palas de Reyes, about 24 kilometers. And uh, <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. 88.051 kilometers. I don't know why they have to be so precise, but <laughs> that's how they got it in here. Yeah. Stay with us.
Well, friends, as you're approaching one of the towns, there's a bifurcation. The one that stays to the right, you parallel the main road, and the other one, you make a left and you go into the town. It's only 100 meters of difference. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go into the town because I think uh, it's a complementary route, but at least you get to see the town. Well, friends, when you get out of the town of Gonzar, there is a uh, cafe, albergue, a restaurant, so you can have uh, your breakfast or anything like that. I believe they also have uh, bathrooms and stuff. And it's right where the point where the two uh, paths actually cross, the regular one and the complementary one. The one that goes through Gonzar is the complementary one. The, re the actual Camino de Parallel is the main road, which, you know, I don't like to do. Well, here it is. Uh, like I said, if you need to use the bathroom, they got Albergue Ortiz. They have a small restaurant in there and uh, and somewhere to use the bathroom. Yeah. How was it? <laughs> what question is that? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a bathroom, something normal. Well, you know. it looked like a... La um, Latrine? A, yeah, but it wasn't. It was a bathroom. They just did it outside because of the pandemic. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. <laughs> <What? laughs> well, friends, one of the things that uh, I was making a comment, you know, is that the last time we did the uh, route that uh, actually goes through the uh, road. And when you do that, you don't get to experience the little towns and, and the people and also the uh, the peculiar things about the houses of, of Spain. Yeah. So when you have a chance not to parallel the road, you're better off going into the complementary uh, route or something like that. Besides, you get to hear. Look, can you look? Can you hear that? All the birds. The birds. Beautiful. Yeah. Very interesting. That's a cemetery. Very small. That might be mom, pop, the brother, the sister. And there's something here. Iglesia Castromayor. The rustic Romanist parish church totally preserved has a rectangular nave covered with gable roof. It is supported on a wooden framework consisting of three longitudinal planes. The main reduce in the 16th century, century with two Solomonic columns decorated. Well, not only that, but the pandemic, yeah, they closed it yeah. and it has a sign that said, what is it said on the, on the door? Yeah, it says it was um, closed for the season. I didn't read it completely. It said because of the pandemic, it was closed. Oh. And then you have people, you know, working like this lady, most likely getting all the milk. Oh, look at this. Well, it's funny folks, but uh, you know, the bakery was closed, but that van that just went by us, is actually another bakery. So what they do here is they honk the horn very loud and it lets the owners of the house know that the bakery with the bread is here. So sometimes they leave uh, a bag with money inside. So they come and bring the loaf of bread, drop it in there, take the money and then leave. But many times if you're walking through the hamlets, you hear this honking of the horn, bang! really loud and people actually know from the horn whether it's the baker or the milkman or the groceries so uh, I just learned that it's interesting see those are the things you learned the Camino de Santiago stay with us
Eh, eh, come, come si chiama? Rosanna. Rosanna. Sì. E di dove sei? Suissa. Da Suissa. Sì. Ho camminato dalla Suissa qui. Dalla Suissa a chi? Sì. Quanto, quanto tempo? Eh, più di tre mesi. Tre mesi? No. Tre mesi camminando? Sì. Ai ai ai. Tre mesi e sette giorni. Sette giorni? Sì. Yeah. Uh, Uh, va a Santiago de Compostela o Finisterra? Vado a Santiago de Compostela e dopo col bus a Finisterra uh -huh. e cammino a Muxia. A Muxia? Muxia. Da, uh, in Santiago è 2300 km. 2300 km. 300. 2300 km yes. from Switzerland. Yes. Wow. Yes. That's a long way. <laughs> But um, it is beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's very good. Well, enjoy the Camino. <laughs> yes, <laughs> very <laughs> yes. You are not free, you are not open for the other people. Yeah. And so, yes, it's a big help. Yes. That's very really nice. <laughs> Did you think to say? Yeah, I, 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 having an experience with the Lord here, you know, I see the beauty that He has created, yeah. and it's a form of worship. So, you know, um, thanking God for what He has done for all the things, yeah. and for a time that you have a relationship yeah. directly with Him. Yeah. It's important. I'm praying for others too. Well, folks, there's a very small town called Hospital da Cruz, and if you see there's an albergue with a bar down there, you have to cross the road uh, over a bridge, and uh, once again, you got to be very careful when you do that. I'm going to give you a couple of shots here so you can gather yourself around, you can get your bearings. Well, folks, as we say goodbye to her, this will be the end of part one on our way from Porto Marin to Palas de Rey. In our next episode, we will go through the town of Ventas de Aron. We talk about the spiritual aspect of the Camino de Santiago. And we meet Victor from Zaragoza, a Catholic pilgrim doing his pilgrimage to Santiago. Finally, we continue to explore the beautiful air of Galicia. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel as we continue here on BD Travels and our Camino de Santiago.